when I was uh, working as a uh, ele electrician, um, used to listen to this album all the time. And uh, you know, the Sex Pistols, uh, Never Mind the Bullocks, is one of my favorite albums of all time. This song is is right up there. You know, it's one of my favorites of all time. It's just got a, it's funny. You know, it, it brings a smile to your face when you really listen to the lyrics. We're gonna do um, one Sex Pistol song, but then he's like listening on his iPod. He goes, man. Check this out, man. We should do this one. And it was like, you know, oh, that's, you know, you know, no feelings, you know? I mean, it was like, that's it. That's perfect. Let's do it. So we scratched immediately. We just, we just changed. We're like, Arr! we just changed on a dime, spun right around, and did no feelings. And, you know, like, like Jettison, the other one. All the songs they put out, even though they were punk, were very melodic. And that was, uh, I mean, that was the genius of it. My dad used to listen to that song all the time. It was, uh, he was a, a big Hollies fan. Anyway, so um, it was one of the songs I kind of grew up with listening to, you know, in, uh, in the household. And um, I've always loved the song. I, I love the guitar riff at the beginning, and uh, uh, just the story of the song is very cool. Long Cool Woman is a, is a great, great, cool pop song, you know. No harmonies, no, no anything, just straight up Vince just singing. Vince loves the song, you know, just launched into it kicked ass on it, the band kicked ass on it, we kind of rocked it up, I changed the bass and made the bass kind of rolling instead of like doom, 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 like the original one was kind of, you know, kind of, I don't know about that, it wasn't right for Vince Neil, you know, for the Vince Neil band, so I had, I, you know, we, we pumped the bass, you know, we really, we drove the song a little bit harder, you know, and it turned out really great. Uh, when me and Tommy were going to high school together, driving around his van, all we listened to was the Scorpions Love Drive album, and that was it. And so this song was like, uh, really takes me back to those high school days, cruising around with Tommy. Um, perfect for Vince. I mean, perfect. You know, da na 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 na. I mean, his voice just singing and screaming. And he, you know, I mean, it was a little high on that chorus and everything like that, but Vince says, nah, man, let's go it again. Do it again. Do it again. We can do it. I can do it. Go ahead. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And we just nailed that sucker. Well, yeah, I mean, Klaus Main is uh, one of the best singers in the world. and. Uh, uh, always try to live up to his standards. So it's funny because when the Scorpions opened up for Motley Crue, it made us a better band because those guys are so good that you couldn't go out and screw up. Yeah, yeah I'm a big Credence fan. And uh, this is a song I've just heard. and One of those songs I go, one of these days I want to redo that song. And then when Rod Stewart redid it, I was like, oh man. And then it was like a number one hit for him. And I was, I, I was a little sketchy on, on doing this song because of that and then people said you know this people that listen to me aren't really maybe right the same not the same demographic as Rod Stewart so I decided to go ahead and do it and did it very minimal and bare bones and um, I, it's one of my favorite songs on the record. Vince wanted to keep it very organic it's like let's not you know stack this thing up let's not build this thing up with a bunch of you know, a bunch of instruments and tracks and stuff like that. Let's keep it real organic. And that's what we did, and I think that's what comes through on the record. Well, I mean, I grew up listening to it. it was, again, my dad was a, a big Credence fan, and, and uh, um, you know, he's just got one of those great, intense voices, you know, that just amazing, amazing singer, amazing songwriter. It's just one of the songs that just uh, stick with you throughout the years, you know.